Big Ninja in the building. Jamar Day John. What's good, y'all? Welcome to Team Ninja. If you ain't seen Team Ninja before, heard of Team Ninja, we the best out here to ever do it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join Team Ninja, Team Big Ninja today, you feel me? Also, make sure you like and leave a nice little comment, negative, bad. Leave it so it can help the channel grow. Suggest this video out to more people to watch it and check it out. Be very greatly appreciated. As you see by the title, we got another side collector shoe review video today. When? Here's the box. Now, just as you've seen in my previous videos before, if you have not seen my previous videos, I always say this about Side Collective. When the front on the box look like this, Sia stands for some, oh shoot. <laughs> Sia, it's a heavy box. Sia stands for somewhere in America. S-I-A, somewhere in America. When the front on the box look like this, typically the boxes, they come with a magnetic strip and it flips open like this, but he, he been having the pull task lately, which is actually a better investment because I ain't gonna lie, the magnetic strip was just tear apart. He should have been did this. So like, this is a, an improvement with the company. Great job, Dev. But as you can see, I got the side, the side collective Rapture Inferno size 10. So when the box, when the front look like that and the box pull open like this, you already know Dev got that heat enough. Now I've already checked these out. I've already played with these. Now before, you know what, let me just show y'all first. Let me show y'all the shoe first. Go ahead and get into the shoe first. Wham. These were also a pre-order. I bought these the same time as I bought the Veg Tans back when he had that massive pre-order sale. So March 25th, these shoes got here August 24th. It's about four or five months, I want to say. But this is the shoe. Fire, right? Absolutely gorgeous. The Rapture colorway. NBA team Raptures. Toronto Raptures. Fire shoe, right? Nice. You know what the problem is with this shoe? There isn't a problem right now, but I'm gonna put a comparison picture of how the shoe was advertised and how the shoe comes. This is false advertisement, bottom line. It's just not right. You either sell the shoe how it's gonna be advertised or just don't sell it at all, or at least provide the accessories with the shoe. This is ridiculous. On the left is how the shoe was advertised and on the right is how the shoe came. Luckily, I have a bunch of laces and I buy a lot of other 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 brand laces to put on my side collector shoes. So luckily I had these type of laces just as it was advertised in the picture. These aren't side collective laces. The one that's going around, these thick black reflective laces are side collective laces, but these laces right here are not side collective laces. So I can imagine anyone that bought or pre-ordered the Raptures was mad. It was tilted because the shoe looks like a completely different shoe. Yeah, it's the same colorway, but like the fireness, the, 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 the image, the ha, ah, that dog, it does not look like that when you get the shoe. It's actually very disappointing, but luckily, like I said, I got the laces. These laces, just go on Amazon, type in 3M flat reflective laces, and you should see some. You can go on Amazon or Etsy to, to grab these. Like I said, these, Thick black reflective laces, these are side collective. I don't know if he has the solid black pair online or not. You can check his website, I, I don't know. So yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> so suede on the toe box. You got leather on the front. That's snakeskin leather, snakeskin leather. There's a difference. So that's snakeskin leather. Got these holes right here on the front some ventilation it's all the way on the side leather on the side so the purple is suede the tongue well the eyelets all the way up to the tongue is snake uh snake skin leather and on the back is snake skin leather you see that's leather as well it's gray leather so you got two different leathers you got the, the snake skin leather you just got regular regular uh Italian leather, then the back of the tongue 
wow, that's red leather, that's cool. So the, the, the back of the tongue is red leather. The insole is red leather, you see got the SIA logo. So the whole entire inside is leather, including the insole. Red pull tab on the tongue with the SIA logo on there. You got a stash pouch in the back with y'all stashing in here. It better be legal, better be legal. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so the aglets, these not aglets, the lace lock. These are also side collector lace locks sold separately. They, he does not have any more of these. I know for a fact what this what this colorway he does it because I bought the last two that he had. I bought I bought the last two that he had. He needs to drop more of these. These are his better looking ones. At least that goes with the infernos. Gray midsole, gray bottom sole. Got the SIA logo right there, and then you have what it stands for in the middle of the midsole somewhere in America. And yeah, this red piece right here. I don't even know what to call this. It just look cool. So yeah, let me know what y'all think of these in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get into the detail review portion of it. seen the previous video the van sham vv1 videos then you already know why it's loud i'm in, a, I'm in my back patio they're mowing the grass out in the front and the ac units are pretty loud here in the back so i kind of had to pick a struggle if you have not seen the van sham vv1 video make sure you go check that out i wish i had more sunlight on this one Look at that snakeskin leather, yo. So there's snakeskin leather and there's actual snakeskin. The D1Y Nukens, that's real snake. The Inferno Nukens, that's real snake. This is snakeskin leather. It's a difference. Still great material though. Okay, so I did not know the bottom of these glow. That's cool. So this is this this got everything. This shoe is well rounded off. It glows in the dark after you come back from the sun or you got like a UV light. It definitely makes it glow. And it's a good glow too. It's cloudy outside. The sun wasn't even really out as y'all saw. 
That's lit. Okay, I really love these. If you've seen my previous videos, I really like the Infernos. It's one of his highest top end shoes. Actually, it is the highest. Uh, first to the Verano, VV1s, VV2s. Look at that, just a nice overall look. Very comfortable. So for me personally, it might not feel the same for you, but on the tongue, it's a little tight because of the shoe, the laces, the length of the laces that I have and the length of these laces too as well. So it's a little bit of a more snug fit for me. It might not be like that for you. This is a size 10. Um, I'm a, a true 10, so it's a perfect fit. It does not come up off my heels when I walk. They're very comfortable. They give you about they give you about an inch and a half to your height. They make me look taller. So I really like it. I like the colorway. <laughs> My mom laughing at me. <laughs> so yeah, these are really nice. Let me know what y'all think about them in the comment section below. Uh, comment which colorway is your favorite out of the Infernos. Do you want him to bring these back? Do you think he should have sold these as advertised? with the laces like these, or do you like the other way how it came better? Let me know in the comment section below though. Let's get into the third person point of view.